Well, folks, it's time. Today was the release of the 13th Dogman book, Big Jim Begins. This is going to be my review on the book, and this contains spoilers. So we're just going to get to review instead of showing the pages and all that. So, hmm, sorry. So this is Dogman Big Jim Begins. Oh, hey, little guy. So this is uh, the 13th book, which means now Dogman has more books than Captain Underpants. Surprising. So this book, I got to say, is a 10 out of 10. Unlike this one. So Dogman Big Jim Begins is now bringing back the golden era of Dogman. And it, this one is not going to be in the meh era. I mean, I keep calling them eras. I mean arcs. This one has to go in the golden arc. Unlike Dogman 12, that was just a piece of, like, overdrawn garbage. Now, one reason why this book is good is because, obviously, Dogman is not red anymore, thankfully. Maybe Dave Pilkey listened to my message from the, the, my gods. And Big Jim, uh, you know, he's just there. He's pretty cool. Or Commander Cupcake. My prayers have been answered. Then we got Sarah. Sarah had off sitting down here. Some diny dolls. And yeah, let's begin. In some pages, why this book is good. Also, here's the spine. But, let's talk about a few fun facts about this book and what's in it. Number one. This book is the first book since book 10 to feature a new villain, since book 11 and 12 featured Piggy and Dr. Scum. And this is now the book series with the most books Dave Pilkey has written, with Captain Underpants used to have 12, while now Dogman has 13, and there's possibly going to be a 14th one or a new series, according to the ending. Now... This book is the first book in the entire Dogman series to not feature Petey. Like, I actually looked in the book every single page. No Petey to be seen, except for Grandpa. And this is also the first book to feature Big Jim on the cover. Now, the one, now reason number three why this book is good is because we actually see more of Big Jim's parents who we learned have passed away in Dogman 12. And also, Big Jim is the chosen one, but he isn't really, because it was like a mistake or something. Then we see the UFO. And what that's another reason, reason number four why this book was pretty good, is because I'm usually interested in space stuff like UFOs, planets, stars, galaxies, etc. Also, we see Grandpa... And maybe when he was going to get married with Petey's mom. Now another funny reason is that we get a flashback from book 10 and it happens again. But this time it's a foot. And yeah, pup, uh, I mean, Grandpa gets crushed. And then the part where my prayers finally get answered. Baby dog man before he was even a dog headed cop. The space cuties, which I think are pretty cool, and that's another reason why, because it's a new villain. The return of Crunky and Bob, Mike and Daryl, and whoever else the other one was. We learned how little, P I mean, little Jim's parents passed away. Was I calling him Little Petey? I hope not. And they got in, like, some sort of car crash. They had to go to the hospital, but ended up not making it. Oh, and I should have mentioned, we actually see Dr. Scum again in this book, but as a baby. Now, I actually did say off camera that if he does come back in book 13, it would be pretty much a garbage book. But seeing him as a baby, I got, not gonna lie, that's just another level of, of coolness. And then we see um, Mr. Whiskers, whatever his name was, as a baby, saying, Respect. And we did see him in book three, and that's the last time I think we saw him. Sarah Hadoff turns and went into one of the cutie things. This was one of the sneak peeks we actually got on the Planet Pilkey channel. The spaceship thing goes underwater and shuts down, and they have to get out of there before they dwowna. 
And if you notice by the end of the book, those buildings still look like that. The Ring of Destiny, Sarah, and this guy. I'm not sure who his name is. Probably like I think it was confirmed in Jackie of Comic Book. Are there? And Big Jim claims we need a sequel. And our, so I believe this might be a new series, which is going to be called Dogman Big Jim Believes. It's a brand new series with the same old characters. <laughs> oh, hey. So this might come out in 2025 or 2026 if we get two cat kids next year. But I'm actually pretty much looking forward to Big Jim Believes because, yeah. And also, we see Mayor in this book, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. This is the first book where we don't actually see Petey. So, we learn how to draw Little Jim, Captain Cuddles, and is that it? Oh, Sprinkles, too. So, yeah. Dog Man Big Jim Begins revives the series' golden era. I was going to say era. And yeah, this one probably fixed the series up. Unlike. <laughs> so, Dave Pilkey, you've done well. Unlike. <laughs> so, we can easily give Dog Man Big Jim Begins a 13 out of 10. Actually, let's minus three points because of no PD. So, ten. actually, let's minus two more points because PD's not in it. So, eight out of ten. This book revives the golden era of Dogman. I was going to do it again. So, yeah. Us seeing Big Jim as the main character, Dogman appearing in. Revive my channel. Please just do that. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bro. Big Jim. Boy, Big Jim. Expect this to be my new channel banner by the time this video's like even out. Probably before it comes out, this will be my new channel banner.